Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we have another product review for you guys. So today I am going to be testing out a, a new product that is new to me, new to my channel, probably new to you guys. And it is a black owned company, which I'm super excited about because there is not a lot of like black owned things going around on YouTube that much. So I'm really excited to share with you guys this black owned um, product and if you guys want to see this review keep on watching so today's product is coming from a company called skinny dip they sell foundations so I'm really excited I found this company on Instagram so I follow a page called black owned um, makeup companies or something like that and they follow a whole bunch of different black owned um, cosmetic brands so I somehow I seen one of their photos and I thought it was really interesting and really nice so I was like let me go see what they sell and I love their Instagram page so I followed them on Instagram and then I went to their website and I saw that they sell foundations and I was like hmm let me go ahead and look at this foundation I love their whole model of swimming your skin which is really cool so I decided to go ahead and order um, their foundation and yes I did purchase this money sometimes when I do review for you guys I do get some of the products for free sometimes I just most of the time I go and I buy the products with my own money so this is one of those things where I did buy the products I don't have a coupon code or anything like that the foundation was eleven dollars and you get a full ounce one full ounce of foundation right I'm hoping I'm reading that right but this is the foundation so I did go back and forth with them on Instagram, like DM on Instagram, to figure out my my shade because they do have comparisons from other foundations. So if you're like in the Maybelline Fit Me, you're a certain shade, they'll say you're this shade. But some the one shade that they recommended, I think they it was like too red. So I decided to go a shade, go to the different shade. So I was going back and forth trying to figure out which is my shade. And so they told me to get this one if the other one was too red. But now that I'm looking at this one, I'm kind of scared that it may be a little too light so we'll see how it goes so they also sell a bronzing primer and this is with what it is it's the same size as the foundation so you get the same amount um from the look it looks really thick so I'm not quite sure how this is going to turn out the foundation came inside of the box with the brand name on there which is really cute I love the packaging the name of the color the color I got is Sahara Sahara Rose I hope I'm pronouncing that correct um, but the only thing, the primer didn't come in a box or anything, so um, there's no instructions on like how to use it if you really need instructions on how to use it. The foundation does have instructions and all the ingredients, it's just the primer did not have that. So that's an, that was one of those things where kind of like, um, what do I kind of do? Do I just use it as a regular primer? So I'm going to look on their website to see how to use the primer. So on their website, they claim that the foundation um, mimics your skin with your true intentions hydrating oil free foundation. Um, it says it contains French clay for long lasting natural shine free coverage, hydrating formula nourishes, <laughs> nourishes. <laughs> Hydrating formula nourishes and protects dry skin, dry sensitive skin, transfer proof, sweat proof, formulated without parabens, talic, sulfate, synthetic dyes and fragrances, and gluten, and is vegan and cruelty free. So for all you makeup artists or makeup lovers who love cruelty free products, this is a black owned brand and cruelty free. Um, and they're true, and it says swimming your own skin, our true intention foundation um goes on like second skin you can control the coverage based on the amount of application apply towards the center of the face blend outward use your um blender or brush for fault for flawless ugh, for a flawless finish with a bit of glow use the bronzing primer so i'm gonna go to the primer and see how do we kind of use that okay so the name of the primer is called quicksand bronzing primer um it's okay so this is what it's supposed to do it's supposed to warm and even out skin tone hydrating formula nourishes and protect the skin with vitamin e transfer proof sweat proof 
formula without the same things as the um, foundation and it's cruelty free. Apply a small amount, less than a dime size to your entire face using your foundation brush. So on here it just tells you just kind of apply it. So I'm going to go ahead and prime my face with my Makeup Forever Primer first because I'm not quite sure should I just use their primer alone but I'm just going to use this one in my oh gosh in my t-zone just to kind of help with the oiliness a bit so the packaging is just simple plastic packaging which could be very beneficial especially when you're shipping out to other places because they don't have a storefront so they have to ship everything online this is great because nothing can break um necessarily unless your package is just like thrown across the room really hard but this is a good way to protect your product okay so i had to zoom in a little bit so you guys can really see my face in my t-zone is very mattified now because i did the makeup forever um, primer so I'm just gonna go ahead and pump Ooh. it doesn't smell like anything it doesn't smell well it has a slight smell but I can't really tell it looks like caramel sauce caramel sauce but it doesn't really smell like anything so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this on And it said to do it with the brush, but I'm just using my hands because that's what I always do for my primers. Oh, it feels really silky on my forehead. The texture feels really nice. It's soft. Um, it feels like a really soft, like, moisturizer. Almost, and it dries down. Like, it kind of, like, soaks into the skin really well. It doesn't have, like, that nasty kind of velvet texture that like some mattifying primers have or silicone primers have it doesn't have that it has more of a like a moisturizing um kind of face primer thing going on um it's not sticky or anything but it really just absorbs straight into my skin like that was like pretty much it like I don't really have to do anything else like it just kind of absorbs straight into the skin and it's gone basically um, I don't see any differences in my skin. Um, it's supposed to help like give you a glow. So I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But I so, did ask if the color was too light, will the primer help make it darker? And they said no, it doesn't really do that. So I'm gonna see how the prim how the foundation um, does on its own and then I'll still try to mix it with the primer and see what happens. So here goes nothing So I just did like two little pumps mm, Color's not bad. It does look a little light But I do have a foundation. I think that is this color. So I'm gonna blend it in and see how it does. Oh No, the color is great. Oh Wow That oxidizes. Oh my god okay did you guys just see that it oxidized a lot like it's not even the same color like look at here's my skin with nothing you see the foundation and then look Hold on, I'm get my mirror so I can see and then I'm just gonna let it sit there and it's gonna get darker wow okay they may be onto something okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and do some more pumps and go ahead and do my foundation like i would normally do with a full kind of coverage almost uh -uh. with a, almost like a full coverage and then we'll come back for like the concealer <laughs> So I lied. It doesn't oxidize. It literally like copies the color of your skin. Like I don't want to say it oxidized because when I say it oxidized, people are going to be like, oh, it's going to get darker than what I intended. Um, it doesn't do that. It literally mimics your skin color. Like, like just like the, um, the website says, like it literally copies. Like as you can see, it's light when you place it on, but as soon as you blend it out, it mimics like your skin color 
like off the back like and then the coverage is really nice you can actually build the coverage I'm so surprised the coverage is really 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 pretty um my only thing now is is it gonna break me out I have super sensitive skin and I did have some foundations that broke me out and I can't necessarily wear them anymore so this one is gluten free and it's vegan and it's cruelty free so I may not have that problem with the whole breaking out situation I want to see how much I can build up because I can see some of my moles on this side but I think I can see a little bit of acne scars I'm gonna do a little bit more okay guys so the coverage is nice the coverage is really really nice I don't have a problem with the coverage I don't have a ton of acne or acne scars to really cover up anyways so I am not the person to say oh this can cover up a whole bunch of acne but what I can say it can cover up some acne scarring moles birthmark things like that so I really like how it looks the finish looks really nice it's actually drying it's actually drying down a bit um it didn't say if it was a mattifying primer but it did say it was oil free and I can definitely see that in the formula um, just by applying it because it's not super heavy it's not greasy um, my skin doesn't look really oily it does look a little shiny on camera and that's because the light is reflecting on the parts that's still wet um, as far as the primer I'm not quite sure how I feel about it because I didn't see like the glow so I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for as far as that so maybe throughout the day it'll look a little different I don't know but I am digging it the color is nice like I was so scared like I don't know maybe I was tripping I was so scared that this was not gonna be my shade and it's the perfect shade like I don't even have to make it lighter darker whatever I like it and it's not settling in my lines or anything this is really nice I'm so surprised and it was only $11 I paid $22 for both the primer and the foundation so if you just want the foundation $11 you can't beat that like okay let's go let's move on I'm gonna do my concealer using my Tarte Shape Tape because it's like you know the holy grail right now Okay guys, so concealer blend out really nicely. No issues. I don't see any issues. I do see where it's like a little different because I didn't wet my beauty blender or my beauty sponge like I normally do. But even still, it, it blended out really nicely. It looks very natural and fresh. But I'm going to go ahead and set it with my Laura Mercier powder. lighten it up a little bit because I feel like I'm still just all one color and I'm going to go into the Maybelline Shine Free Powder. So I didn't do my eye makeup so I'm going to go ahead and do my eye makeup real quick. It's going to be something really simple um, while this sets and then we'll come back and dust it away and apply blush and highlight and finish the video. Alrighty guys, so I just did my eyes. I did something really quick, really fast. So I'm going to go ahead and dust off this powder. So now I'm going to go in with my Laura Michelle press powder. And I'm going to use the same brush to press in this powder. I'm gonna spray my face with the e.l.f. makeup mist while that dries I'm gonna put some um, mascara on my bottom lashes real quick now that that's dry I'm gonna go in with the Becca um, multitasking powder in um, deep deep bronze to kind of like add some bronziness to my face <music> I 
Now I'm just going to place some blush and a highlighter on so we can finish up this makeup look. spray my face with some makeup mist to um this is the urban k do you slick you guys know i love this stuff okay guys so my face is done this is the look that i just did just to test out this foundation and so far everything applied beautifully everything blended out really nicely on top of the foundation um it did seem like my um my what's that setting powder the Laura Mercier powder kind of just really got into the foundation and it took hold of the same color um so I did have to apply the um Maybelline shine free powder on top just kind of lighten it up a little bit but all in all this foundation is really nice the coverage is on point you can build it up really nicely I was so surprised on how easily that um foundation was to cover I mean to build up um, and the coverage is just, like I said, like all my acne scars, any marks on my face is basically gone. Blush applied beautifully, highlight, everything, my bronzer powder, just um, skin looking popping. Um, so far, I'm loving this foundation. For $11, I will order this. So we're going to wear this. It is $4.15, $4.15. Um, PM I'm going to try to wear this as long as I can um, probably for about let's try to do five or six hours that's typically how a normal person will wear foundation um, six maybe eight hours but I'm going to try to do six hours and come back and share with my share you guys share with you guys my feelings thoughts and overall impressions on this foundation so we'll be back you know what I mean we'll be back and all right guys so it is 10 46 i've had it on since like about five six hours um this is as long as it's gonna be because i have to go to bed wake up early zoe's going to school so i wore the makeup i went to the beauty supply i got zoe's ready for school cooked did her hair finished cleaning up the house so i've been wearing this makeup for about six hours maybe longer um can't remember what time I told you guys I was recording. I can't remember what time I recorded, but it's been a while. Um, all in all, I am impressed. I am going to say I am not super oily. Um, just like literally, like a little bit. Like, I am amazed. Like, I look shiny on camera from what I can see, but I'm really thinking that's like the highlight because I do have highlight on my forehead and on my cheeks and my nose, but... The areas, like, okay, let me just, I'm just going to pat where I think I'm a little oily. Now, look, guys, come on. The coverage, it has not creased. I mean, it hasn't budged. And it looks good. I am like, I'm shooketh. I am shooketh right now literally like what let me let me bring y'all in so y'all can look at this okay guys it looked like i literally just did my makeup maybe if i just like here let's if i get this little guy and just kind of you know pat down a little bit it literally just looked like i just did my makeup and i barely just i just took a sponge you know just kind of pat it down just a little but oh my, the cover is like, and you know, I'm starting to get those smile lines. Y'all see them? I'm starting to get those smile lines. And look, nothing. No cracking under the eyes. Look, look under the eyes, y'all. Look, look under the eyes. Looks amazing. So, um, skinny dip. Um, y'all got something good going on. I'm loving this foundation. $11. $11. Black owned business, cruelty free, vegan, gluten free. I ain't even know gluten was in makeup, by the way. Um, 
array of skin tones let's put that out there they have so many different shades for skin for darker skin tones we know that is a issue with drugstore brands number one and some higher end brands they don't like to go crazy if i'm talking low it's because i don't want to wake up the child i cannot afford for her to wake up right now she needs to go to sleep for school but i am impressed in the most i think the the thing that really got me with this foundation was that when I put it on, and you guys saw this, when I put it on, it looked like it was going to be a shade light. And then as I blended it, it was just like, girl, we can match your skin. Like, it literally was like, I'm swimming in my own skin. Like, it just matched my skin. Even I showed Greg, and he was like, oh, it did match. And I showed him, I was like, look how it looks. Like, remember how we looked at it, and we were like, hmm, that's going to be the wrong color. But... I'm just like, mine is blown. Um, I think for something so affordable, I didn't expect this. Okay, so the primer. Let's talk about the primer. Um, I'm not super crazy about the primer. I'm not quite sure what exactly it's supposed to do on its own. I'm just gonna make a I'm just gonna pump it a little. I do love the feel of the primer. The primer feels really, really nice on the skin. I love how it just go straight in it's like hey i'm here i'm doing my job but this primer i love how it just goes straight into the skin i'm not sure if it this primer is helping um the foundation if it's making it last longer so maybe i should have did like one half with it and one half without but i knew i was going somewhere so i didn't want to look super crazy so maybe on another video i'll test um the foundation without this primer and see if I get the same results but so I'm not quite sure exactly how this is supposed to work but I'm definitely going to get more info on that but this is a win I didn't know I was going to like it this much when I found the website I was like oh black on bread foundation get it girl like you know all these shades I was like yes I'm here for these shades you know I wanted to bring you guys something for the girls who are darker than me, girls who are lighter than me, girls who are the same color as me, girls who have issues with trying to find a foundation but have that weird undertone like I do. Like sometimes I'm red, sometimes I'm yellow. I don't even want to take my makeup off of how good it looks. Like my contour and my highlight is popping. I'm finna go somewhere. It's 11 o'clock. I'm about to go run the streets, you know, for no reason. But I'm finna go ahead and wipe it off. I hope you guys love this video. Um, if you are very interested in this brand, I do not have an affiliate link or coupon code at all, but I will leave the link to the company down below. They do have like, I think a 10% off code on their website. Naturally, it's just something they have on there. Take advantage of that. Um, buy you some foundation. They only sell foundation, foundation and the primer. Um, if you want to try both, I encourage you to try both, but the foundation is really, really nice. Um, let me know if you guys tried it or if you're going to try it, you know, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, click that button before you leave. And I can't wait to chat with you guys in my next video. Bye guys.